ALS, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, is just as real and just as a threat as it was when Lou Gehrig himself was diagnosed. Today our chapter serves 250 people living with ALS and there's approximately 30,000 people living with this disease across the country. Our organization is leading the fight to treat and cure ALS through global research and nationwide advocacy and we're also empowering those people living with this disease along with their families by providing them compassionate care and support services. Along with individual gifts, corporate donations, and foundation grants, our largest source of funding comes from our Walk to Defeat ALS. The Walk is our largest fundraiser in the fight against ALS. The St. Louis region has truly been blessed with an over-supportive community. Year after year, we have an overwhelming amount of support from thousands touched by this disease, including community partners and volunteers, corporate donations and sponsorships. The patients and their families, they are the ones who truly see the impact of this generosity. ALS is a horrific disease, as everyone knows, and we're just here trying to raise money to support the cause and hopefully find a cure. We want to support the ALS Association. I couldn't have made it through this past year without them. It's a hard thing to, to go through. It's, I mean, it's even harder for the people that have it, but it's hard for you to sit and watch somebody deteriorate away. ALS support team, um, it means that the people, caregivers, patients, uh, families, friends, all know that they have somewhere to go to when they need help. I've been honored to be the WALK chairman since 2006. And in that time, I've seen incredible growth in this event, both with people coming out to support those who are currently suffering from this disease and so many who are still walking in memory of those who have lost their battle against ALS. On one hand, it's great to see the continued support and participation for our walk to defeat ALS. But on the other hand, that just proves how real this is, this disease and how it affects the community and more and more families every year. And like so many people who participate in this event, my family has also been touched by this disease as my father passed away in 2000 after a five year battle with ALS. The fact of the matter is we need more people to get involved by volunteering, increasing financial support to fund cutting edge research and patient care services, and we need more of the business community to help us build awareness and educate others of the importance of our mission. You can take a step today for those with ALS who cannot by joining us this year for our annual walk to defeat ALS. We welcome your support, however you see fit in assisting our cause.